Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for July 2022, Aries Sun, Moon Rising, Venus Signs, and Cross Watchers. So Aries, I have some pre-pulled cards here that I shuffled and they popped out. Um, I'm going to clarify these cards and then I'm also going to pull more Oracle cards. So stay tuned. I'm going to start off with the Oracle cards that came out first. So weight came out. Things are aligning or realigning the way that they need to. So patience is definitely needed right now. I do feel like clarity and answers are coming to you. We also have conscious focus. What I focus on, I attract more of. Starting with today, I will be more conscious of what I choose to spend time speaking or thinking of. I will do more of the things that bring me joy and see as more of these things begin to effortlessly flow into my life. So some of this can be manifesting. There can also be a lot of feelings um, that you're going through right now. So it's like they always say, never make a decision when you're really sad or really angry um, or unsure about something and questioning things. Just wait and be patient. There's no need to jump in. I really think things need to... Um, realign here. So the energy that we have right now, it's the three of swords and the eight of swords. So you may be so disappointed in something or someone that you're not seeing things clearly. Sometimes our emotions can get in the way. Um, we can really be in our head. And this person here is definitely in their head. They're feeling a bit stuck. There are some maybe fears or underlying things that need to be worked through before moving forward. And some of this can do with some disappointment that you have dealt with. So what we have for the situation going on, four of pentacles, the tower and the ace of swords. So the tower is definitely bringing some big changes here. Now with the tower, this can be a break in the blockage. So something here, the universe, giving you the answers that you need, giving you the clarity that you need with the Ace of Swords. Now, sometimes things can come as a bit of a shock or maybe we weren't seeing the red flags or paying attention to them, but the universe has been waving the red flags in front of you like, look, you know, this is something that isn't good for you or meant for you. So it may not work out the way that you had hoped, but it's because there's something better here. So four of pentacles, maybe you've been holding on to something. Um, in a way, it reminds me of Leo's reading where it was like micromanaging the universe instead of allowing things to unfold naturally. So, you know, I do feel like the answers are coming here, though. All right, so I'm going to clarify. I want to take a look at the tower. See what this is in regards to. Let's clarify that tower energy for Aries, please. Okay, the Hierophant. Yeah, so the Hierophant can be something that you have conformed to, whether it's a relationship such as a marriage or a long-term relationship or even an institution of, of sorts, like a workplace. Also, it could be your beliefs, something that you have truly believed in or thought you did. Now, you may be seeing things from a different perspective. So some of you could be going through this huge spiritual awakening and it can feel strange to let go of this or it can feel like a shock sometimes when we believed in something for so long and then we realize, wow, this isn't what I thought it was. So that's the energy that I'm getting here. And I just shuffled the devil and the ace of swords came out. All right. So the devil um, definitely can represent the things that we're holding on to that actually become toxic for us. Yes, it can be beliefs. It can be ways of life. It can be fears. So I definitely see you breaking through anything like that. Some big changes coming in. All right, so we are realigning here, Aries, this month. So let's take a look and see what the Starseed Oracle has to say. All right, and so we have a new earth. It's happening. 
keep holding the vision. Yeah, so a new earth. So there's going to be a lot of new energy in your life. So I feel like there's going to be some closure here. And I'm just being guided to pull one more for you. So think about it. We always ask for a new earth, right? We, we want things to be better and more improved for, you know, more love and harmony. But in order for that to happen, there has to be changes. So you've got two. Yeah, the great severing, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love, right? Anger and conflict, but needing to soften to love. There's Mars energy. All right, the courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. So I feel like, you really needed that energy. Guidance and I'm sorry at the bottom, defenselessness, writing past wrongs and uprooting. So things may be uprooting for you, which can be very uncomfortable. But it is so that you can lay roots down for something that is more long term and stable and will make you much happier. Enjoy the journey. The fun is getting there. Acknowledge your progress. Travel, mental vacation, be spontaneous. At the bottom, we even have darkest before dawn. Break down before the breakthrough. Major shift is in progress, dissolving barriers and ascending. So yeah, I feel like this is really strong energy. Even look underneath darkest before dawn was crisis. Restructuring life, blessing within, clearing space, solutions, see deepest needs and emotions. So I hope that you guys have an amazing month ahead. Go in and check out my other videos um, in the videos tab. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.